Alright, hey guys, I'm going to a video I've been wanting to do for a while, but today I'll be showcasing how to do uh, passes specifically off the wall and how and what scenarios uh, it will be useful for, especially in freestyling and even in competitive. Um, it's just a very necessary skill that you need to learn, and I'm going to be going through step by step on how to do it successfully. Alright, so before we get into anything, we need to know how to set the ball up perfectly for this pass. So we do not want to hit this ball at a very hard pace because when we do, as seen right here, it can go sometimes off the wall and all the way up to the ceiling, which makes it very awkward to pass it. Alright, so instead of doing that, you want to get the ball right on your nose and just hit it slightly. I know this is like a very simple thing right now, but just practice, just practice getting it right here around right your nose and just going back and forth. And once you get this down, and you get about halfway, I want you to flip into it. And as you flip into it, you get a nice speed to it, and you can follow it up very nicely. Now, you might not always be able to get this amount of time to flip into it and follow it up, but I'm going to get into the very uh, various different techniques you need to learn and the different scenarios. But for now, just practice dribbling it and uh, flipping into it and then following it up. All right, so the first touch is probably the most important. As the ball rolls up, you want to hit it right as it crosses this line. And I'm going to add like a little thing to show you where this line is, but it's basically right at the end of the ramp. So like right where my nose is there. So as the ball uh, crosses that area, that's when you want to hit it straight up. Now what this does is it hits it up so it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling, but also doesn't go straight out. Now, how you hit this is very important too. You do not want to hit it with your corner like this because then it might go a little too forward. Instead, oh, I missed. All right, let me set this up. You know, dribble, dribble, flip into it. Oh, that sucked. Uh, instead, you want to hit it with your nose. So you follow it up nice and easy. Now, if you hit it with uh, your corner, it might go a little too far. If you hit it with your back corner, I'll try to mess this up on purpose. It might go backwards like that. So it is very important that you hit it in the very middle of your nose so it follows it up very nicely. All right, another important factor in getting good pass is your boost management. You don't want to be boosting too much and end up hitting it straight into the ceiling and not getting good pass to your teammate. Instead, as you go up the wall normally, like I've taught you so far, you want to boost right as it goes up the wall. Like right in that sweet spot that I just mentioned, you want to be boosting right there because that gets a nice pop up on the ball and it gets a nice height and then you can follow it up and get a pass. Alright, so now I've taught you guys a little bit, I want you guys just to go in the free play and just go back and forth uh, going up the wall getting hard solid passes on the ground so it goes up the wall very nicely and then following it up and hitting it right in that sweet spot that we just talked about um, just keep going back and forth hitting it right there and then we're going to be going over this next skill that I just did and that is following it up and getting that pass alright so one of the main things I had problems with when I was learning freestyle and now is how to follow it up we've already learned how to set it up get the nice pop but then we're like okay what do we do how do we fly and then hit that and still get a good pass? And this is where um, it gets a little tricky, and we're gonna have to use that air roll, uh, air roll button, uh, in case you didn't know that existed, because for the longest time I didn't know it existed. So we've already learned how to pop it up, get that nice hit, and now we just need to know how to turn our car and get that nice powerful touch onto it. All right, so before you even get in using the ball in this uh, scenario, we just want to practice jumping off and turning. Now this changes for uh, both directions, uh, whether you're on the left side or right side. Um, if you have the air roll button set to something that you already know, um, just go along with me. If not, uh, it should be like square or triangle or something. Uh, so go ahead and get that ready. Uh, if you haven't practiced with air roll, I highly suggest uh, doing that. Just get good control of it. I know I'm just like messing around. It's not something that I'm trying to show off or anything, but just get good with air roll. Know what it does to your car and such. Um, 
but in this case, uh, air roll is very important in getting power behind the ball. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to be using the ball right now. I'm just going to be showcasing how to get the technique down and everything. Um, in case you guys do not know how to use air roll, just you know, practice it. Um, but right now, we're just going to go through very slowly on how to go up the wall with the ball and then flip into it. So, this little lip thing, lip thing. The place I told you where they hit the ball. Oh, hi. Um, the place where I told you hit the ball. Um, after you boost into it, I'm going a little back so I guess the speed. This is where you want to jump off right after lip. So jump off. So as you hit the ball, you jump off and then you want to turn. Now this turn, um, although it might seem simple now, it is a very hard thing to learn, uh, especially if this is you just trying to learn how to pass like for the. Are you doing uh, for the first time um, don't go in okay um, so you just want to practice going up the wall uh, if you want to practice with the ball go ahead but you want to jump and then hold that air roll button down as you jump and then if you're jumping off the right side you want to hold your left analog stick to the right whenever you uh, whenever you use the air roll button so just jump air roll right and then you're flying but the most important part is that you're facing the goal um, this is very important when you actually have the ball there. So whenever you're facing the goal, you just flip into it. Um, I practice. I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like with the flip afterward. Um, so you just go up the wall, you jump, you go, you flip, and you get that nice front flip. Uh, very powerful. Gets a nice pass, or in some scenarios, you can even get a good shot off with it. Um, but this goes for both the right and the left side, but. The only difference on the left side is instead of holding right on the left, uh, right on the analog stick whenever you do air roll, you want to do it to the left. So we're going to go up the wall, you know, do the same thing, jump, hold left, and then, oh, I forgot to use my flip, but it's basically the same thing as the right side. Um, like hitting the ball up the wall, I would just practice going back and forth, getting speed, going at different paces, jumping. And it's flipping. Um, later, we're going to add the ball. This is adds another uh, just difficulty in passing, but uh, we're going to go through it. Um, try to go through it slowly, just so you guys can get a nice look at it. You know, this is my first tutorial. Give me a break. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so now we're just going to go through the steps with the ball this time. I'm not passing it right now. I'm just getting it over here. Um, so just go through the steps that we've already practiced, getting it right here, flipping into it, following it up, boosting, jumping, I messed up. And this is the part where I say it's okay to mess up, because it is okay to mess up. I messed up plenty of times, you know? It's not something that you just get perfectly every single time, but just keep practicing. You gotta hit it right there, hit it right there, flip, flip, do, easy. Now you can practice following it up at some other time, but just practice getting those nice hits for now. But, I mean, you can just keep going back and forth, you know, oh, I hit that a little too hard. But, you eventually just be able to pass it whenever you can. Like, no matter, like, even if it doesn't hit the perfect spot on the lip, like, I'm telling you, like, that's a good spot you want to hit it. But in some scenarios, you may not always have to hit it there. It just gets a little risky, you have to, like, slow your car down so you don't hit it too hard. But, you know, that's something you have to learn on your own. You just learn it with practice, learn it with playing the game more. Um, that's how I've learned it. But eventually you'll be able to do some crazy stuff with your friends. If you don't have friends, um, yeah, you'll figure it out. You don't need friends. You just need internet. But, yeah. Um, so that's the, like main part of the passing tutorial I guess. I'll try to get Tokyo on. I'll try to do some like live scenarios and I'll start like doing some commentary over some of my favorite passing goals, I guess. I mean I know like it's always cool to like score things, but I mean passing is cool too guys. Like people people underestimate passing. Like pull some K better than Jazer. I said it. He's better than Jazer. That's all. That's, that's my little tutorial thingy. Hey, bye. Um, so now we're going to be just practicing, you know, actually doing it with a friend. If you don't have a friend, then sorry. But um, you can 
get bots. They're pretty good. Um, but I'm just going to be practicing, you know, going through what I just went, uh, went over with you guys, but now with uh, Toki over here. So, um, yeah, say hey, Toki. Hello. But yeah, Toki, uh, he's also a good passer. Uh, he's mainly, uh, you know, you pass it back and he, like, booms it, but I think I'm the better wall passer here. But uh, we've been playing for a while, so hopefully we can get some uh, those nice shots and stuff. So I'm just going to be practicing going over, hitting it up to the wall. I don't know if Toki was ready, but yeah, he's always ready. And just practicing getting good passes to your teammate. Um, I know we're not going to score every single one, but uh, just practice getting those uh, getting those touches that I was talking to you guys about. Uh, just hitting it up the wall at a good pace, getting that touch right as it goes up the wall, and then following it up. So we're just going to keep going back and forth until we hit something, Toki. Dang it, Toki. <laughs> Toki, just, Toki just got on. We'll give him a break, but... But, I mean, this is really, it's just that simple. Just keep going back and forth. Um, you know, just getting good, good hits. You don't want that ceiling. Ooh, and there you go. See, I scored. It's on me. But, I mean, if you have a good uh, freestyling teammate, all you really have to do is do that, and they should be able to get it. Or, if you want to be fancy, and I'm going to mess this up. Okay. You can be, like, squishy and just go to the ceiling. And then pass it. Yeah, I know that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> but, I mean, it happens every once in a while. You just got to realize and, like, react to that first touch up the wall. That's all you have to do. I mean, eventually it just gets too too easy. Again, on me. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it gets... Yeah, that's all you have to do. It, I mean... 50% of the shot is the pass, I mean, for being technical here. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play a full-on 20-minute 20, 20 game with Toki here, but, uh, I'll, you know, I'll clip whatever we hit that's cool. You know, just so you can see what I do and what he does. And then at the end, I'll, I'll put a couple... <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a couple of clips uh, just from games we've played where... I don't know, I've gotten a good pass or something, I don't know. But yeah, we're just we're just gonna play for a little bit for now. Bang. Easy. <laughs> I was like gonna go like quiet there, it's like alright, so just in case we don't hit anything, I'm just not gonna say anything, you know. But okay. <laughs> Is that ground ceiling or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Toki's favorite. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's, that was a good one. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this um, earlier, but I don't know if you guys saw that, but right before I flip into the ball, I boost just to get that extra, you know, like power so it gets to the very far side where Toki is. That is also a very important thing. Let's get that power. Easy. <laughs> See, Toki's got it. Bang. Whoa, bang. Middle. Rip. <laughs> oh. Easy. Alright, well, that was the end of that 20 minute thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's just the end of me just live reactions and scenarios with Toki. Um, I'm gonna finish this off and then head to the live, not really live commentary, but just commentary over uh, just some of my favorite passes and shots that I've hit with my friends and so on and so forth. Hope you guys enjoyed that part and I'll see you guys later.